Uh, Tech Day is an, uh, an annual event for high school students and teachers. Uh, Tech Day is, uh, in essence, a technology carnival. It, it brings together hundreds of students, teachers, to for contests, for demonstrations, for dis displays of technology from industry, uh, a lot of science with uh, chemistry magic show, and uh, it's intended to excite young people about studies and careers in science and engineering. And a chance for the students to come to campus and have a little fun with the competitions and uh, some of the other event events that we do. I hope the students have a lot of fun at Tech Day, and I hope they learn a lot at Tech Day. Yeah, there's, there's uh, about 10 competitions. A lot of different things that teach them different principles of science and engineering. Uh, mostly, I would say physics-based competitions, but specifically uh, some of the competitions, the more popular ones that we run are the toothpick bridge, the egg drop, the catapult, um, the mousetrap car, king of the hill competition. Uh, we also do the screaming and um, a Jeopardy, a competition model after Jeopardy. And I'm missing one key one, Rube Goldberg. Which is the most the, the most difficult, I think, the, the most popular among the schools that actually do it. Um, we saw some pretty innovative designs. We saw everything from chains to uh, big rubber bands, kitchenware, all kinds of things. So people get really creative. <laughs> Students construct paraphernalia in which to protect an egg that is dropped from approximately 30 feet high. <laughs> calculates the highest frequency and the, the power at that frequency and uh, exports the plot and we just record whoever had the peak power and one who's the loudest ends up winning. Students make a bridge out of flat toothpicks and they have to use Elmer's glue to connect the toothpicks to each other. They're given a set of constraints as far as the length, overall length of the bridge, the distance between the supports, the height and width of the bridge. They bring it in and then we add loads to it until the bridge fails. <laughs> the only thing is, like, nobody wants to be Oh, 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 o
three tasks that they were required to do that were related to that. One was to light a jack-o'-lantern um, uh, with, a, with a light bulb, preferably not, not fire, uh, to open a piece of candy, and to uh, toilet paper a tree. There are lots of creativity. Every Rube Goldberg is uh, uh, maybe the best contest for creativity. All kinds of different crazy ways that they accomplish the task. No two were alike, actually, that I can think of. Okay, first we've got Marvel here. We're gonna come down and play the brand new basket in the lower basket. Yeah. And the platform's right here. I think they can pull it in. So, uh, pull out, release these weights, come down, and we'll sit on the platform, come down, go hit this switch, and beyond. And these sets of platforms for your bucket for this bucket. So it's pretty simple. I'm with Kamal, and we're showing our robotic recognition system. Uh, essentially, we got a grabs table. You roll a couple of dice out there, the robot finds them, picks them up, and hands them back to you. Okay, I'm Rick Amato. I'm here with Edutronics. Uh, we're a reseller of rapid prototyping equipment as well as uh, engineering software and uh, CAD and architecture software in Troy, Michigan. Here's an example of some of the models that can come out of 3D printers. Hi, my name is Jay Otten. I'm with BASF, the chemical company. This is called Elasticoast. It's simple rock, and it's effectively glued together with the polyurethane resin. And they're using this along the coast of the North Sea, and also they're testing it on Fighting Island in Canada to prevent coastal erosion. I'm Zach Bolton from Continental Automotive Systems, and today we have our, our Conti Guard vehicle with us today. So it has a camera right here that sees the lines on the road, and if you start to drift to the left or drift to the right, it'll vibrate the seat cushion depending on which side you drift to. So it'll enact, wake you up a bit when you're driving. We also have a radar sensor behind the bumper here, and that'll see the other cars on the road. So if you're driving on the expressway and the cruise is set at 75 miles per hour, but a slower semi pulls in front of you, this car will automatically apply the brakes and keep you a safe distance away from the semi until they get out of your way, then it'll speed you back up or it'll keep slowing you down into a stop if you need to. 